So in this direct materials variance analysis, we are going to be solving for materials price variance and materials quantity variance. We have some pieces of information that were given to us in the problem. Sales volume, direct materials purchased, cost of direct materials purchased, direct material, materials used in production, direct materials standard price, and the standard quantity of direct materials. So this information is what we're going to use to solve these formulas. And we have the actual materials cost, the actual quantity at standard price, the standard materials cost using the flexible budget, and then also this AQU times SP. So these four are what we're going to end up using to find the two kinds of variances. So in the first one, the actual materials cost, that's equal to AQP times AP. And here we have what all those abbreviations mean. AQP is equal to the actual quantity of materials purchased, and we're going to multiply that times the AP, which is equal to the actual price of materials. So here we're using the direct materials purchased times this number, the cost of direct materials purchased, which is the 1.2 per pound. So that's how we get this number. And then for this actual quantity at standard price, we're taking the same AQP, and in this case, we're taking it times SP, which is the standard price of materials. So we're taking the 40, 440,000 pounds, and this time we're taking it times the direct materials standard price, which is $1 per pound. So for those two, we're going to find the difference or the variance, and that's how we find if this is a favorable or unfavorable materials price variance. In the next part of the problem, where we're finding the materials quantity difference, we're going to use standard materials cost, the flexible budget, which is equal to SQ, standard quantity of materials for actual level of activity, times SP, which we already have used, the standard price of materials. So there, we are taking the two pounds per unit times this the sales volume, which is also kind of listed here, how we got that number. And then we're taking that times the dollar per pound to get this number. And then in our last formula, it's the AQ, AQU times SP. So we're using the actual quantity of materials used in production times SP, which is the standard price of materials. So there we have this number, the direct materials used in production, that's what was actually used, times the direct materials standard price of $1 per pound. Multiply those two and you get this number. And then to find the variance between that, to find if it's favorable or unfavorable, you're going to find the difference of them and we find that we have a negative 21,000 favorable materials quantity variance. Now here down below, we have a, a little bit better explanation of the answers and kind of to explain what those answers actually mean. So hopefully this one helps as well.